What's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. Getting this video done a little late. I played all day with my daughter. and um, But I want to be consistent, right? I made a post today about social media and the power of that, but being consistent. And one of the things that God had laid on my heart was sharing my Bible study notes every day, which I've been doing for a while, but now getting into making a video about them. So we were in, I was in Philippians chapter 4, verse... Uh, 11. Yeah, verse 11. Philippians chapter 4, verse 11 this morning. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. And there's so much power in that, the simplicity of it. Being able to be content where we're at with what we have is tough. You know, we live in a society, a comparison minded, a comparison minded society where all we want to do is compare ourselves and our life to everybody else. And there's a lot of wisdom in this book. I recommend that you check it out because wisdom takes us places. Wisdom is really where we grow, right? That with accountability and truth and some other things, but being content where we're at. We live in a society that tells us, don't be content, you need more, you need more. I think that's just a lot of blah de blah as my buddy Jeremy would say. Um, because until we learn to be content with what we have, we won't be really good at having more. You know, we always want more, more stuff, more money, more this, more that, more things, whatever. But we won't be content in that until we can be content where we're at. There's huge power in that. Be content where you're at and Love you guys. Appreciate you. Let's go do some winning. See you.